This book is called Johnny's Pheasant, written by Cheryl Minima and pictures by Julie Flett. Johnny spies a pheasant, which he believes is sleeping, and his grandma fears is dead. But they learn they both were wrong when the pheasant departs, leaving behind a gift. In this book, we'll learn about patience, kindness, and respect for nature. Johnny's Pheasant. This is what a pheasant looks like. This is actually a ring-necked pheasant. You can tell by the ring around the pheasant's neck. It is a large chicken-like bird with long pointed tail, and it has fairly long legs and a small head, long neck, and a plump body. They like to find food in fields where they can eat the grain, seeds, and insects. They build their nests on the ground. They usually walk or run and only occasionally will fly and they are hunted for their tasty meat. Johnny and Grandma were on their way home from the Grand Market with a sack of potatoes, a package of carrots, and a bundle of fresh fruit, and frosted cinnamon rolls. Pull over, Grandma, hurry, said Johnny. What did you see? asked Grandma. Come on, I'll show you said Johnny. Johnny led Grandma to a small feathery hump near the ditch. It's a sleeping pheasant, said Johnny. Oh my, said Grandma. Can I keep him? asked Johnny. Grandma gently nudged the small pheasant with her foot. He's still soft, said Grandma. Let's bring him home. I will make a nest in the yard and feed him carrots, said Johnny. Grandma put her hand on his shoulder. I'm sorry, Johnny. I think he may have been hit by a car, but I can sure use his feathers for my craft work, said Grandma. Silly Grandma, he's not ready for craft work. He's sleeping. Let's put him in the trunk, said Johnny. Grandma emptied a paper bag and put the pheasant in the trunk. He's still warm, said Grandma. Hoot, hoot, said Johnny. Hoot, hoot, asked Grandma. Yes, hoot, hoot, said Johnny. When Grandma pulled into the driveway, Johnny unbuckled his seatbelt and bolted out the door. He leaped over each spring puddle. Hoot, hoot hoot, and disappeared into the house. Johnny rushed out with the box. Here's his bed until I gather sticks, said Johnny. Can we bring him inside? Okay, said Grandma, just for a little while. When the pheasant was on the table and Grandma was on the couch playing cards, Johnny opened the door. Okay, I'm off to get sticks. Hoot, hoot, said the pheasant. Johnny spun around. The pheasant shook its feathers and swooped up. Its wings nicked the walls as it circled the living room and then landed right on top of Grandma's head. The pheasant's tail swayed from side to side in front of Grandma's face. I guess he was only knocked out, said Grandma. Hoot, hoot, said Johnny. The pheasant sprang from Grandma's head and flew out the door. Hoot, hoot, there goes the pheasant, said Johnny. Pheasants belong in the wild, said Grandma. No, he heard you talking about using him for crafts, and that's why he went away, said Johnny. Hoot, hoot, said the pheasant. Johnny and Grandma stepped out the door and saw the pheasant perched on the swing set. Hoot, hoot, said Johnny. The pheasant fluttered its wings and flew away. Grandma, look, said Johnny. A single feather zigged and zagged to Johnny's feet. Stop right in front of Grandma. He fluttered his arms down to his side and gave the feather to Grandma. Ho-ah, said Grandma. 
Hoot, hoot, said Johnny. The end. Cheryl Minima is a member of the Mille Lacs Band of Ojibwe. She was raised on the Mille Lacs Reservation and now lives in Minneapolis. She is the author. Julie Flett is Cree Matisse and lives in Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada. She is the illustrator.